everyone and welcome to the Public Relations Specialist video series. Today we'll be going over social media and reasons why it might not be working for you. First, let's go over social media. Social media is the media that is used to disseminate content over the internet through various vehicles such as social networking sites, blogs, publications, etc. And it's important because you can now communicate with your audiences one-on-one -on -one, and it can be a two-way conversation. Two-way communication is something that's relatively new with social media and the internet. This two-way communication can really take place between company and um, buyer or customer. And social media has become a popular and an overall effective go-to tool of marketing and PR efforts, yet some companies still don't view it as such for their marketing PR campaigns. There can be many reasons why they have come to this conclusion, and most of them are affected by the way they look at social media. More importantly, it involves the way they go about planning and preparing their PR and marketing activities. Some reasons that I came up with for um, social media not working for a company include the following. Uh, first is your audience your strategies and tactics, your current approach and marketing PR activities, your rate of use, simply thinking it just doesn't work, and your post-use activities. So first let's go over your audience. These people are pivotal players in the success of your campaign and PR plans. If you don't pay attention to this group and the group that is your targeted audience, you really have very little chance of success. If you do succeed, I'm going to have to give credit to luck, but I don't really even believe in luck, so it's going to be a hard task. When creating a PR plan or campaign, be sure to include these people into your planning process. Social media has little effect on things and can attribute little to the overall success of your PR plan if you are unaware of who you are targeting. What's more important here is that you use the right social media tools that reach your right audience. Some social media users prefer one method over another to connect with you, for example. Your targets, uh, I'm sorry, your strategies and tactics. You can implement a tactic, but it must be implemented after you know your strategy. Much like the target market and audience, your use of social media must come with a reason. If you use social media for no reason, or worse, just because everyone else is doing it, you could end up wasting a lot of your time, money, and effort. Worse even is the ability you have to damage your brand, your customer and public relations, and your overall image if you use it improperly or for the wrong or non-existent reasons. Your current approach and activities also can affect your success with social media. Just because you use it now or do things a certain way currently doesn't mean that you are you know, doing it the right way. Get used to changing things because the industry, the market, and the business world is changing, so you need to keep up. Doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results, which is what many companies do, is a hard thing to um, really accommodate for a changing industry. Um, this is Einstein's definition of insanity. Unless the market changes to your advantage, making your methods useful and successful, which is a pretty unlikely scenario, you need to change your methods to meet the needs of the market. This means that although press releases through the media may have worked in the past, customers can now read press releases online without the need of the media, meaning you need to change as well. So know what social media can do for you and how it is changing the way companies communicate with customers. Another point of your success relies on your rate of use. Like I've mentioned a lot on my blog and throughout the ebook that you have to read for the PRS, social media isn't a one-shot thing. It cannot work if you do not maintain it. For example, you can't just tweet once and expect things to suddenly change. You also can't just send out tweets. You must reply to the people who are trying to communicate with you. There's a big difference between setting up a blog and blogging. The most consistent and the more often you update your blogs, Twitter accounts, etc., the more likely you are to have success in your social media efforts. People get bored, so give them things to read, do, know, and share with others. This is my favorite reason why social media doesn't work, and it's simply that it just doesn't work. Um, if you agree with this, it's probably time to, for you to figure out why. Uh, and I'm, social media simply cannot, just cannot simply not work. There is a reason. Figure it out. If it is one of the reasons that I just talked about, great. You can work with that. Unless it is something you cannot change like your target market, because I'm assuming you don't want to change your entire product or offering, you'll have to move on and look at your other options that have the potential to work, for example, using offline media or uh, advertising, for example. If it's something that you can change like your use of your strategy definition, do it. 
It really is as simple as that. Put some effort into it and find the solution you need to get social media working for you. There is a reason behind social media not working. Many companies assume that social media is going to work if you just implement it, and that's really not the case. And if you just think that social media doesn't work because of your rate of use, then that's something you can change. Um, target markets change, the industry changes, but social media can also adapt with that and keep you up to date. Another important aspect is your post-use activities. What are you doing after your PR campaign that uses social media to ensure that your next PR campaign is successful? Do you use social media or do you engage, measure, and redefine your social media use? There's a pretty significant difference between just using social media and using social media to measure your results and to better improve your chances in the future. The latter situation can make your social media efforts much more successful. As with anything we do in life, if there is no reflection and no efforts to do better the next time around, nothing will change. Again, this is much like companies doing the same thing over and over again while expecting something different to take place. You must measure the results of your efforts to see what was successful and what was not. And overall, just remember that social media takes work. I've often heard and read that social media is useless. As you may have been able to gather from this presentation, social media is not useless. Much of the reasoning that comes with that stance is derived from things that the company itself can control, like how often they use social media to the review and measurement of results after using it. The only reason you shouldn't be using social media, your audience cannot and does not want to be interacted with through it. Other than that, social media can only do good for your company. You simply need to use it correctly. So that's sort of our overview of reasons social media might not be working for you. If you do find that social media isn't working, really try to reevaluate your plan, re-look re at your strategies, and ensure that your strategies and tactics align with your overall company goals. Otherwise, social media just is not going to be worth using for you, especially if your audience won't respond to it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email at ashley at businesstraining.com.